Time to play with some clay. All right, today I've been trying to figure out where the heck to put the dog. I finally figured it out. I didn't want him dominating the front. I didn't want to stick him in the back. And this robe stuck out an awful long ways out this way, and so it sort of blocked anything I could do there. But then I got to think, well, what if the dog came and walked up and the, the robe, you know, forms around his body? Uh, and I'll just have to re sculpt that little part there because it bows out too much that way but I like this because now I got the dog looking up at the baby um, he's not dominating dominating the scene which I didn't want to do I mean I wanted to add him to it only because it's a family it's the, the dog is included in the family everybody that owns a dog knows exactly what I'm talking about your dog becomes your family. And so I just thought it looked really good from that point. And then it adds just a little more interest back here in the back, uh, especially when you do his tail curve. The American Dingo tail goes. It's, it goes up unless it's running and then it goes down. But uh, I think it's going to be good. I like his positioning and and even the uh, angle of his neck and head uh, works out well. I had to do this first before I could start sculpting the dog because I have to work out the position the dog's going to be in, and that's the position he's going to be in. Um, I had to build an extra addition to the base. As you can see, I had to raise it up, put these extensions on, because now I'm going to have to take that whole uh, base and... Uh, and, ch and change it the size of the base and I had to have something underneath that uh, change it's not going to be a cheap piece to cast but uh, it's not going to be a cheap piece to to buy either ah uh, well you know I'm a my I'm my own worst enemy when I come to selling my artwork I do what I want to do and I pay the consequences if it doesn't quite meet the uh, mark. Again, I'm holding the camera by hand, but uh, this is the way I've set up the dog to be sculpted. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, DVD on how to sculpt a dog. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I've had a lot of requests to do it. I just haven't got around to doing it. And I figured now is the time to do it, so what I'll do is I'll show you my progress on it, but I'm not going to show you every second of the uh, sculpting of it. And, and again, I apologize. I, I've got to make a living, and and I'm also passing on the information to uh, people who uh, are very interested in it, and they want to so specialize in it, and they want everything in one DVD or a set of DVDs, so that's what I'm going to do. And... Uh, I've already got the first part, and you guys got the uh, privilege of seeing that. Well, it, maybe not a privilege, but you got to see it. <laughs> anyway, I'll start on this guy uh, Monday. I'm going to spend a couple of uh, days uh, doing research and, and getting all the material I can uh, on the uh, Australian dingo and the uh, Carolina dog which is the uh, same thing as the American dingo just a different uh, breed uh, just a different branch of the breed so to speak I'm happy the way uh, this idea is turning out and uh, the opportunity gives me to pass this information on all of you out there that uh, are interested in doing dogs now this may not be the dog you're going to do but it will give you the idea of how to do your dog when you do your dog. Okay. See you guys next week. Bye bye. Time to play with some play.
All right, today I've been trying to figure out where the heck to put the dog. I finally figured it out. I didn't want him dominating the front. I didn't want to stick him in the back. And this robe stuck out an awful long ways out this way, and so it sort of blocked anything I could do there. But then I got to think, well, what if the dog came and... Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time. Because now I got the dog looking up at the baby. Um, he's not dominating, dominating the scene, which I didn't want to do. I mean, I wanted to add him to it only because it's a family. It's the, the dog is included in the family. Everybody that owns a dog knows exactly what I'm talking about. Your dog becomes your family. And so I just thought it looked really good from that point. And then it adds just a little more interest back here in the back, uh, especially when you do his tail curved up because that's the way uh, uh, the American dog uh, that's that's the way the American dingo tail goes. It's it goes up unless it's running and then it goes down. But uh I think it's going to be good. I like his positioning and and even the uh, angle of his neck and head uh works out well. I had to do this first before I could start sculpting the dog because I have to work out the position the dog's going to be in, and that's the position he's going to be in. Um, I had to build an extra addition to the base. As you can see, I had to raise it up, put these extensions on, because now I'm going to have to take that whole uh, base and, uh, and, ch and change it, the size of the base. And I had to have something underneath that... Uh, change. It's not going to be a cheap piece to cast, but uh, it's not going to be a cheap piece to, to buy either. Ah, uh, well, you know, I'm, a, my, I'm my own worst enemy when I come to selling my artwork. I do what I want to do, and I pay the consequences if it doesn't quite meet the uh, market. All right, everybody, that's going to be it. Uh, man, woman, child, and their dog. That's what this is going to be. Again, I'm holding the camera by hand, but uh, this is the way I've set up the dog to be sculpted. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, DVD on how to sculpt a dog. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I've had a lot of requests to do it. I just haven't got around to doing it. And I figured now's the time to do it. So what I'll do is I'll show you my progress on it. But I'm not going to show you every second of the uh, sculpting of it. And, and again, I apologize. I, I've got to make a living. And, and I'm also passing on the information to uh, people who uh, are very interested in it. And they want to so specialize in it and they want everything in one DVD or a set of DVDs so that's what I'm going to do and uh, I've already got the first part and you guys got the uh, privilege of seeing that well it, maybe not a privilege but you got to see it <laughs> anyway I'll start on this guy uh, Monday I'm going to spend a couple of uh, days uh, doing research and and getting all the material I can uh, on the uh, Australian dingo and the uh, Carolina dog, which is the uh, same thing as the American dingo, just a different uh, breed, uh, just a different branch of the breed, so to speak. I'm happy the way uh, this idea is turning out, and uh, the opportunity gives me to pass this information on all of you out there that uh, are interested in doing dogs. Now, this may not be the dog you're going to do, but it will give you the idea of how to do your dog when you do your dog. Okay, see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my 
instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.